Hi, this is Danny D, and welcome back to Pathways of Hope. Today, today's gospel from Matthew 9, verses 14 to 15, on this first Friday of Lent, speaks about the essence of fasting. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? This is when Jesus cited this tradition of not fasting during wedding feasts. He says, can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The Lord wants us to understand why we even fast. So why? Why do we fast? I can think of seven reasons. and Maybe we can reflect on each one of these for the next seven days. Reason number one. We fast so we can be purified. In the Old Testament, only after fasting for 40 days did Moses receive the Ten Commandments. In Psalm 24, verse 3 to 4, it says, Who may ascend in the hill of the Lord? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Now, fasting helps us to be cleansed spiritually. And thus, we come closer to God. It helps us focus on Him. And, and when we are focused on Him, we hear Him. Reason number two, we fast to win our life's battles. You know, the Israelites, Israelites fasted before they went to battle. And each time they did, they won. In Matthew 4, Jesus fasted for 40 days and he was victorious over temptation. You know, because we turn to the Lord, we hear him, we listen to him. And, and when, if we follow what we hear, we shall be victorious. Now, a lot of us may be in the middle of our own battles. Maybe it's sickness, maybe it's financial struggles, maybe it's a relationship issue. But what the Lord is saying is, when we are close to Him and we hear Him and we follow Him, we will win all our life's battles. Number three, we fast so that we can be intimate with the Lord. After fasting, and only after fasting, Daniel came to know the Lord. He came to know God's heart. Then, only till then, did he receive the instructions from God. In John 10, Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Number four, we fast to build our faith. The body may become physically weak, but when we fast, we become spiritually strong. Number five, we fast to humble ourselves. There's no question that fasting is an exercise of humility. We deny ourselves of our own cravings in order to find strength in the one true God. Number six, we fast to prepare our souls to receive grace. Somebody once told me, when we fast, we do not influence God to answer our prayers. But fasting prepares our soul to receive His grace and blessings. And last and most important, we fast because we love more than anything else, the essence of fasting is not to wash away our guilt, nor is it mere sacrifice. We need to do it out of a desire for intimacy with Jesus. We do it out of love. In Hosea, the Lord says, For I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. Now, we want to connect with and glorify Him by dying to ourselves. So if fasting is one way 
for us to shed the noise around for only one purpose to be intimate with God with Jesus born out of our love for him and Jesus asked why will the Pharisees or his disciples fast if they knew that the bridegroom Jesus himself was still physically with them but today Today, we need to do everything. We need to do everything we can. Praying, silencing ourselves, and fast if we must. If only to be intimate with Jesus. We're purified, we're guided, we're strengthened in faith and humility so that our souls will be prepared to receive His grace all so we can love him more now, i pray that this lenten journey will be special for all of us that we may all after quieting ourselves hear him be with him and pass in the presence of our beloved lord as we anticipate the true essence of the joyful celebration of easter have a great weekend.